Good morning, PBC Youth. This coach coming again. I want to give you a quick word of encouragement as we uh, get ready for a new week. My line of thinking or my, my topic, my theme for this week is don't turn it off. I'll say it again, don't turn it off. I remember when I was a kid, I used to play video games. I used to really get into video games. I used to play uh, Super Mario Brothers. I played Super Tecmo Bowl. I used to like to play games. I used to get really into them. And I remember my parents would tell me, turn the game off and go do something. It could be something small like take the trash out or uh, clean up the bathroom. They thought I turned the game off. I used to press pause. I'll press pause, do whatever it is they ask me to do, and I'll come back and I'll get right back to the game. My line of thinking was I didn't want to lose progress. I didn't want to give up or forfeit all the work I had put in or all the time I spent trying to get to a certain level in a game. So instead of me turning it off, I would press pause. I want to encourage you today, do not turn it off. Whatever your it is, it could be your vision um, for yourself spiritually, uh, physically, your academic goals, whatever that is, don't turn it off. We're in the midst of a pause, but it's not over. I would hate for you to turn it off and then have to start over and forget all the progress or forfeit all the progress that you already have made. So don't turn it off in the midst of this pandemic. I know the circumstances aren't the best, but don't turn it off. Over in Philippians 3, 14, and 15, 14, 15, and 16, Paul encourages us. He says, this is what he told us. He says, I'm not going to worry about the past. He said, the past is the past. I'm going to strain, and I'm going to press on, and I'm going to move forward. I'm going to move ahead. During this time, I think we need to take that approach. I heard somebody say, and I've heard a lot of people saying, I just want to get back to normal. I think we shouldn't have that approach. I heard another preacher say, we need to look forward to normal. Understand that our normal may be new, and that's okay. The way we get our education now, it may be different, but that's okay. We have to strain, and we have to push forward. The way we do things may be totally different, and that is okay. Don't turn it off. We're in the midst of a pause, but we have to continue to press forward and continue to keep moving. Right now, we've been in shelter in place or lockdown, what, however you want to call it. We've been doing it for a while, so it's become repetitive. I know sometimes the days of the week, there's not much difference. Monday feels just like Tuesday. Tuesday feels just like Wednesday. You have to avoid uh, being stuck, and the only way we can do that is by pressing on. Paul encouraged us to press. Uh, pressing me to be intentional. All right. So I wanna, I want you to, I wanna ask you to do a couple things. I wanna challenge you this week. I wanna challenge you. First of all, I want you to really look at Philippians three fourteen and fifteen. All right. Now, I also want you to do something for me this week. On Monday, I'm gonna call that "Make Yourself Monday." I want you to make yourself get up thirty minutes earlier than you have been. If you've been getting up at nine o'clock, get up at eight thirty. When you get up, I want to encourage you to look at that scripture. And also, I want you to listen to some type of music um, that's going to get you in a place where you can worship. Some type of music, whatever that music is for you. But I want to put you in a, in a center, center yourself with God through reading the Bible and also listening to music. All right? Wednesday. On Wednesday, I want to call that Walk It Out Wednesday. I want you to commit to doing at least 30 minutes of something active outside whether it be a walk, a jog, uh, you can still practice social distancing. On Wednesday, I want you to do, get outside, get outdoors for at least 30 minutes. And on Friday, I'm going to call that Free Will Friday. I want you to do something nice for somebody. It could be picking up a chore around the house that you don't normally do. It could be uh, doing something for one of your uh, elderly people in your family, your grandma, grandfather. I want you to find something to do. I want it to be towards somebody. I want you to give an act of kindness on Friday, Free Will Friday. Now, for PBC Youth, we will be having a Zoom uh, meeting on Tuesday. We'll get together. I'll put that information at the end of the video. I just want you to be blessed, and I want to encourage you, do not turn it off. It's only a pause. Be blessed.